say, oh my, is that a budding theme park proprietor I see before me? I certainly hope so. Otherwise, you're in quite the wrong place, and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park empresario, and I am here to help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. And because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. A charming little park, which, as yet, has not fulfilled its undoubted potential. A park where you will begin to hone your skills. So, first things first, you should learn how to navigate around the park. Moving, rotating, zooming, almost as if you were riding a roller coaster. A massive, invisible roller coaster. Look at that! You've completed an objective! Now, objectives are a bit like bosses. They tell you what you need to do, earn more money than you, and drive a sports car. No, that's not right. Anyway, how about completing another objective? Uh, if I could butt in and make a suggestion, how about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? Why is it even closed? Oh, hello, Lucy. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. She's got almost 800 followers. You know, online, not in a cult. Hi there. And it's 900, but who's counting? <laughs> so, the ride? Ah, yes, opening rides. Go on, select the ride. Good! And now, open the ride! did it with such gusto. Well done. And now that we have such an adorable, gentle ride open, more guests, especially families, will soon be flooding into the park. You know, you could turn that flood into a bigger flood. This place just needs something a bit more thrilling. Well, if people want thrills, then we'll give them thrills. And possibly nausea. Head over to the highlighted area. I think it'll make an excellent location for a ride. But let's ask our head engineer, Eugene. Greetings, Eugene Newton. Good to make your acquaintance. And yes, Mr. Thompson, I think it will do nicely. The proximity to existing infrastructure appears nominal, so guests should be able to achieve both entry and exit with minimal difficulty. So, if you would start by clearing the highlighted area of any obstructions, please. And do not fret, those items will automatically be sold, so we will get at least some of the purchase price back. Oh, just a word about the radial menu. The radial menu gives you fast access to commonly used actions. 
please note that the options available in the radial menu will change depending on the mode you're in. Very good. Now, I've already chosen a suitably thrilling ride for you, so if you would care to select it... ...and place it in the designated area. Now, it's very important that when you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a ride queue. Next up, connecting your ride to the park, so people can reach it. Now, that queue you're building is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Good. And now you should build a path from the exit gate back to the rest of the park. For that, you can simply use normal paths. Oh, and if you do find any obstacles or obstructions in your way, you can build slopes or stairs into your path to get over them.
And finally, you can open the ride. No, no, that's not how we do it, is it, Eugene? Apologies. I meant... And finally, you can... Open the ride! That's more like it. You're gonna get way more teenagers like me and my followers visiting the park now. Ah, don't you just love teenagers? So much disposable income. Cynthia! I didn't see you there. Please, allow me to introduce... Cynthia Clark, Chief Financial Officer. It's my job to make sure these places turn a profit. Speaking of which, thanks to that new ride, the park's rating has gone up. And you know what that means. Cake? We can start charging the guests more money. <sighs> okay, very well. A necessary evil, I suppose. <laughs> evil. Did you see that notification? Even the guests think we're undercharging them. Let's do them a favor and fix that. That's right. Take a good look at the notification. It'll tell you what we need to alter the prices of. <laughs> oh, look. It's that family-friendly little ride of ours. Go on. Put the ticket prices up by a few dollars. That seems a wee bit steep. Oh, honestly, Oswald, the people visiting this park aren't just getting to ride rides. They're getting to make precious memories. So if we put the ticket prices up, then we're making those memories even more precious, aren't we? Oh, no. That actually makes sense. Wait. No, it doesn't. Lower ticket prices make guests happy. I know we're in the happiness business, Oswald, but we're also in the staying in business business. Look, if you're so worried, why don't we have your new underlings select a few guests and see what they're thinking, eh? Underling, indeed. They are a trainee, and they have a name. Although I just realised I don't know it.
guests didn't seem too put off by the higher price, did they, Oswald? Yes, but their happiness is our bread and butter. So, it's important to regularly check what the guests are thinking. Well, I didn't see anything to worry about there. Come on, let's just hit fast forward, sit back, and let the money roll in for a while. At least until we've made a healthy profit. Well done on hitting Cynthia's profit forecast. Honestly, I was worried it was a little high. But as always, she knows just how hard to squeeze the guests' wallets. <laughs> Anyway, now that we've made some money, we can make some improvements. Oh, but don't forget to slow things back down to normal speed again. After all, it's not a good idea to build a park on fast forward. You might miss out on an important notification, or a ride breaking down, or all your staff leaving, or, heaven forbid, my birthday. Anyway, congratulations! You've just earned yourself a bronze star. The first of many, I don't doubt. <laughs>